All right, everyone, welcome back. We're going to get right into it. Um, I'm going to try to do a, I ain't going to say real quick, but we're going to do a little bit of painting. Um, I've got a couple of these. They're just little mega bass um, knockoff blanks. I can't remember exactly the model, but they're just mega bass. Uh, I, use, I don't really use this blank too often. Um, you know, it's just one of them blanks. I, end up, I bought a bunch of them. And every so often I'll decide to paint some. Uh, today I decided to paint a couple of these. I was actually gonna do a different bait. I was gonna do uh, the S crank, the smaller version of the S crank, but uh, instead I decided to just do a couple of these. All right, we're gonna get right into it. Base color is just white. Uh, you can build your colors however you want you don't have to use you know exact colors like what i'm about to use but it is uh, let's see i'm just gonna start with a couple of colors let me move this one out the way so it don't get no overspray even though i have helping hands i i don't use them that often i have a couple different ones this is a, a newer one that i've gotten recently um i don't use them that terrible often i might end up using them today it just really depends on how this goes um i ain't got a hundred percent game plan yet i'm just i'm just going with it. whatever happens happens i got an idea in my head or i had an idea in my head uh what i was gonna do when um i first started i said well i'll do you know i had a pattern in mind that works really well with the s crank so i'm not sure how they look in this but Anyway, uh, let's see, just in case you want to know, this is, uh, for a fluorescent, uh, hot pink. I'm just pretty much just going to spray the belly down with it. That's good enough. Hopefully you can see what's going on. I didn't unload much in that airbrush just because I didn't need much of it. That's pretty much it. Just, just wanted the belly covered. Let that sit to the side. Um, matter of fact, to try to speed things up, um, every so often I will pause it uh, between certain colors. Like this right here, ain't gonna take long. So I'll, if you can't tell, or I don't know if you, yeah, you can see it a little bit in the video. I use these old shirts a lot. They work uh, pretty good for just dumping old color. This is uh, Wicked Crimson. Uh, it's pretty much just a red color. Um, there we go. And I need to move this one to keep from overspray. All right. And I'm just pretty much going to do the back. Just like that. And that is pretty much it on that one. Like I say, I'm not sure how this is going to look on this particular bait. Um... I know doing this technique with other baits looks pretty good. I've actually done it with a like whopper plopper style baits, um, jerk baits. Um, I don't see where to make a big difference with this. The only thing with this, I don't have the proper eyes. So always, there we go, airbrush. That compressor don't take long to get the kick off in a second. Um, I don't have the proper eyes for that. That takes them kind of like half eyes. I usually just cut some, make them work. All right, um, I'm gonna heat set these real quick with a uh, blow dryer, then I'm gonna wrap them. Uh, I'll show you what I use. This is just, you can get it in, uh, I know Walmart used to carry it, but uh, you can get it from like Hobby Lobby, Michaels. It's just basically a uh, cloth mesh. Uh, I buy them in the rolls. Uh, I know you can buy it in the rolls and 
like Michaels and Hobby Lobby, but I think in Walmart it actually comes in a in like yarded sheets. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm gonna wrap those and we'll be right back. All right, let's show you real quick. I just got them wrapped up with the mesh. Um, I like I said, I, I've got some older videos of showing you how I wrap them in mesh. Um, it, you just wrap them the best you can. Um, anyway, back to white and coat the entire bait with white. Hopefully you can see everything going on in the video. The compressor will kick back on any minute. There we go. And basically that white is just a base coat just to help the other colors stand out because we're going to apply more colors. And you can mix it up any way you want. Um, I have done dark color, uh, like dark colors on the bottom, uh, lighter colors on top. I mean, you can, you can do it any way you want. I mean, this is just maybe to give you an idea but i'm thinking this bottom we're gonna go with a um an orange color um i've done a lot of them like that and the um the poor like pearl tangerine is pretty much a uh a real nice orange color that i personally like it I'm steady, I'm looking, make sure you can see what's going on. All right, just pretty much coat the bottom really well. Both of them. I didn't load much in it, I'm about to run out, but that's all we needed, just the bottom coated really well. Let's see if that'll stand there. All right. And try to clean it out pretty quick between that way it got a pause at each time right. and there's a bunch of different techniques out there um this is just one of them i personally like there's other ways you can you can do it uh let's see this is going to be pearl lime I'm actually going to do that one next. I'm just going to do the sides. And the lime, honestly, it, it's going to uh, look more like yellow. Uh, before it's over with on the sides. I could turn the pressure down on my airbrush, but it's just preference. Um, I usually keep the pressure a little higher. Um, now, if I'm trying to get really deep, like really detailed and stuff like that, I'll turn my pressure lower and, and make some adjustments, but all in all, just regular spraying, I usually keep it up a little high. Like I say, that's that goes back to preference. All right, and now we're fixing to coat the top. Let's see, with pearl blue. I didn't realize every color I grabbed today is pearl just about. That's a strong blue. Um, 
this right here, you see how I got the clips on there. You're just basically getting as close to the clips, you know, spraying that area. Cause once you take the clips off, you can touch all that up. Um, that's the easiest way to do it. And your blue is going to overlap it and make, make it almost a greenish color. So it's going to have the look of going, it's basically, basically going to make it look from orange, yellow, green, blue is how it's going to give it that, uh, that look. And as they say nowadays, I mean, this is not, I mean, yes, this is going to be a beautiful color, but, uh, you know, this, it ain't going to really match anything in the natural, you know, match the hatch. Um, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to heat set this really well. I'm going to pull those, um, those clips off, unwrap it, and then we'll be right back. All right. I'll give you an idea of what they look like. They're light, you can see, it's harder to tell, but you can see the little bit of pink. I'm trying to get the light to show. You can see the little pink lines fade into the red on top. And we'll cover most of that up on top. You can see it go from the pink. So it looks like you got the little pink lines. It's got the orange belly, fades to yellow, greenish look, then blue. So. Like I say, uh, I like personally. I like how it turns out when you're done. Uh, right now, you're like, you might be thinking, "Oh, that looks kind of weird." But anyway, let's get uh, let's get it going. Uh, trying to think what I want to do from here. I'm actually going to go with a uh, violet, fluore uh, fluorescent violet. And all I'm going to do with this is just put a little. Just a little bit of it on the very top to try to fade out a little bit. We'll see how it turns out. If we make a mistake, oh well. All right. Loud ass compressor. too bad try to see you still got the blue in there on the edges this is just a it's just to try to tie in some of that Let's see if I got enough left over Too bad. Set that to the side. And yes, the way I clean my brush, and I, I rush it a little bit, so I do waste a lot of cleaner, but it's all right. Uh, a lot of times, I'll I'll mix up some stuff of my own and use that but I mean this stuff ain't that terrible and you can get it on sale sometimes so all right from here I'm gonna load a little bit of black and do some touch up stuff and then you can figure out if you're you know from this point you can decide if you want to just you know make a crawl pattern out of it um you know, do some spots on it. I mean, there's, from this point, you can decide how, you know, how you want it looking afterwards. All right, before we decide, I might do one in a, a little bit of a crawl pattern. I always like to darken up around where the eyes are gonna go. Um, I say that's just a preference. 
Um, me personally, I like to darken it up just a little bit. What I'm doing here is doing a light, almost like a shade mist. It's just barely dulling that just a little bit on each side. I don't want to take away from the color. I just wanted to dull it just, just a little bit. All right, I like how that looks. I know I said this video was gonna be quick. It's probably still gonna be a damn 30 minute video, but you know, that's fine. Some people would probably rather me edit and shorten them up and all that. But like I've said before in some of my previous videos, this is how I run my channel unedited if you see a mistake it's not going to be edited out you're going to see what i'm doing oh so therefore if you don't like it i'm sorry um all right from this point i'm trying to decide what kind of pattern i'm going to do uh actually one of them i'm going to stick to the side uh, bring this over. This is the, <laughs> it's worn out, ugly, but this is the, uh, the little helping hand I use the most. It's just a old, old helping hands. I don't want to use that pattern. What do I want to use? I've got some new stencils. I just hate to say if I want to mess with them or not. Maybe you can see what's going on. I ain't gonna do much with this one. I'm just gonna put some light little, I ain't gonna go super dark with it. Just some light little spots on the side like that. that that'll be plenty for this bait so i might put a couple more little spots towards the the tail of it there we go to make it that one that size close enough all right got that one let me figure out what i want to do with this one do I want to make a crawl out of you? I reckon I will. Oh, let's see here. Find my, find my crap for a crawl pad. See which one I want to do. I got stencils I made, but I also got a lot of these little, you know, like crawl templates that I've made for, you know, uh, they they work. Uh, sometimes they can be a little tricky. Let's see here. That one. I got several different ones. I I might be a little rusty. I haven't used uh, I haven't used any of any of this stuff in a while. I mean, hell, it's been a long time since I've actually you know done a lot of painting. All right. I ain't gonna say uh, you forget, but you know what I mean? If you go a little while without doing it, you're like. Let me just take this off. The only thing I don't like about these, because it's like plastic, it's a little stiffer um, to work with. Go right up under the gill. I 
got a little overspray, but whatever. It'll work. Got a little overspray right there. I don't like that, but at this point, it is what it is. All right. Line up. Situation like this, when I need to just wear a GoPro on my head so you can see what I'm looking at. All right. I've got some pretty decent uh, templates, you know, like stencils made for a lot of the other baits that I use a lot. That makes it so much faster. But like I said, I, I very seldom ever use these, so I ain't never made uh, any actual templates for these. All right. Yeah, that ain't, that ain't bad at all. It's lined up pretty decent. It's lined up pretty decent. terrible. I hate I had that little bit of overspray there, but I can, that will be all right. You can see, try to get you in the camera, right there, it had a little bit of overspray down, but it blends in a little bit, so it ain't that noticeable. I mean, hell, these are personal baits, so it ain't like I'm trying to be all down you know, make it perfect. All right. Sometimes I add little spots to it. I might, I might add a couple little spots to it just to break that up a little bit. I mean, the spots are so I mean, you ain't going thick with it. You barely notice them. All right. Yep. Yeah, I got a feeling this video is going to be a lot longer than what I originally planned. Almost done with what I'm doing then. Because I was planning on the video only being about 30 minutes long, but I'm thinking it's going to might run a little bit past that. to do that instead of tying the uh, usually on top I would tie that together but instead I just I decided to just do that little little touch to it right there still it don't look bad it's really not bad at all um, it's not exactly what I was gonna go for at first uh, but I mean hell I ain't bad I'm satisfied with it I'm actually gonna do the I'm gonna do the same thing on top of this one. Just run a little, just run a little pearl on top. Uh, yeah, a little white pearl. And clear coat will definitely bring that out. Not bad. 
I can say not bad. Not my best work, but you know, it's one of them things where you don't do it for a long time and then you're trying to mess around with it. You gotta re relearn a few little things. All right, I'm gonna stick that there. I'm gonna get these uh, ready. I'm not gonna bore you with the eyes. I will show you the eyes real quick. I'm just pretty much gonna take these eyes right here, um, trim them down where they fit, and then I'm gonna just clear coat them. Um, I'll show you real quick. I'm not gonna put on the whole process on camera just because it's gonna take up too much time. Um, if you haven't seen, uh, I do have a previous video showing about this. This is my little UV, uh, you know, curing tank. It's basically two nail, you know, for doing like fingernails I put together. Um, I just hang them down in there. Uh, works great. Uh, yeah. I keep my UV stuff in here. Uh, well, I got a couple different ones. I, I got some in there. It's just UV resin, and then I keep another one in here. Uh, just keep it out of the sunlight. Anyway, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna get those ready, done, and as soon as I'm done with them, we'll bring them out. We'll check them out, and hopefully, the video ain't too damn long. Um, anyway, we'll be right. All right, have them ready. There's the first one it's amazing what a uh, nice clear coat does brings out the shine nice little touch and you can see it's hard to see but you can see the pink fade into the red but anyway um that turned out good Move this one, bring the other one down. Looks pretty good. I'm satisfied with it. That's all that matters. Yeah, you can see the I'm trying to get the camera because naked eye you can see it real good, but trying to get the camera to show the the pink we started out with and then where it fades into red you can still see the red just wanted to point that out so you don't think the color just got lost but all in all i think i think they turned out i think they turned out really well i mean that color done really well i mean hell i could i'll catch a fish with one um, anyway, if you have, you know, if you have any questions, um, you can always hit me up on here. Um, you can hit me up on my personal page under Eric Gilly. Um, I very seldom ever, I mean, I still once in a while I get messages on the tall tales, custom tackles on Facebook and Instagram. I just don't use it very often no more. I just don't have time. Um, if you can't tell it's been. A few weeks since the last videos i just i've been so busy this week i've actually got more hours this week than i have any other week during the peak season i mean i it's just been slammed this week i've had no time to do anything uh, i actually had to uh, leave early to keep me from going over so many hours um because i had done went way above where i should have went um anyway hopefully you enjoyed this video um you know maybe it's a technique you haven't seen i'm sure i've used um i'm sure i use some of them techniques and uh especially the wrapping um i know i've used that in past videos uh from a couple of years ago um but anyway it's been a while since i've done crankbaits on camera so i figured i'd do a couple um i have I got my mold, uh, the three and a half inch, the smaller version of the rock hold. Uh, I haven't even had a chance to shoot it yet. I, I've had it now for about a week and it's just sitting out there in the garage. I've had no time. Um, anyway, if 
I see. I got a few things I got to get done this weekend. Um, I'm going to upload this video, and if I get a chance, um, I might shoot another little short video just of, you know, that mold, just so uh, the people that's interested in seeing what it looks like can, can check it out. Um, if not, then next time I get a chance, I'll, I'll make a video of that. Um, I will show you real quick. Here's, here's a couple I did last week. This is, uh, this is one of, it's a similar technique. You can see I started out with like a black crackle look. Um, you know, try to get in the light where you can see it a little better. There we go. Started out with kind of like a black crackle underneath, faded. Um, very similar technique. This is the smaller S crank. Um, as far as S cranks, I do like the smaller version. They're harder to find the blanks. Um, they are a little bit smaller. Um, they're not quite as bulky. They do pretty much have the same action. Um, but the, as far as fishing wise, I personally like the smaller one. Um, I have a another one of these I painted in a, a different pattern that really turned out great, but it's in the garage. But here's another, you know, it's just a, a similar. It has that black underneath crackle look, but just done some spots on the side. Um, I think it was a week or so ago I'd, I'd done that. I mainly just wanted to see how the, uh, the blanks compared. Um, but anyway, we're going to um, end this video. Hopefully, I, I had full intentions on doing a video like during the holidays, you know, just to wish everybody a happy holidays, and I, I did not have a chance. So hopefully everybody had, you know, a, a great Christmas, uh, you know, a good New Year's, and hopefully this year will be great for everyone. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time. Thank you.